Welcome to another short follow-up video uh, how you can claim your uh, status ELS airdrop. You just go to the XOP Toolkit website, go, click on Get Started and click on Connect Wallet. Then you have to get the possibility of using the Ledger device, the Cobalt Vault, the Decent Wallet or also some map. So uh, if you, for example, you should use the Ledger device, just go to the Ledger device, connect it, unlock it, open the XOP app and then click on Connect Ledger. In my case, I'm going to be using the Sum Lab again and click on Connect Sum. So then I'm going to scan the QR code in my case and I'm going to sign that and now I am logged in. As soon as you're logged in here, now we need to add an asset. So then you will go to Account and click on Assets. After you're there, you've got the possibility of adding assets which are already here predefined, but we're going to click on Custom Edit here. And here in the custom edit section, we have to select the issuer. You can find out the issuer and copy that from the uh, uh, from the YouTube description. So we'll put the issuer in the description. Um, or you can also go to XOPL tokens and look here for ELS. So it's right now that one here, that is the issuer with the RH starting. Then you paste the address of the issuer here. Afterwards, you also need to code. So uh, you can also type it there, ELS. And then you can set the limit. As the limit, you can also just take the total am issued amount. It, it's just on your side to say, I'm willing to hold at max that many uh, Elijah tokens. But it's it's okay if there's zero less or more, it doesn't matter. Then you click on next. Afterwards, you just have to sign um, the quest again with some or with the ledger, uh, with the ledger and S or X, so, or whatever, Cobalt. And after you're done, uh, you can see the, the check mark here again. And we can also see if we click on account, we can see here that ELS was added. So the issued asset is, uh, so the issued currency is added here. And now you're eligible to the airdrop. As soon as the deadline has passed, um, then they will take all the accounts which have set trust lines. And on the airdrop date, they will drop to all the accounts the same amount of Elijah tokens. So I think they're taking 51 million divided by the number of trust lines. And that's what one person gets airdropped. And yeah, that's how it works. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.